Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich, and welcome back to my channel. I have been asked many times what application I use for my flowcharts and my maps in my videos. And the application in question is called Whimsical. Here I will be talking about its features, pricing plans, how you do the basic things in Whimsical, and also the new feature that they've just put out uh, or a document style called documents, which is writing document rather than kind of um, brainstorming type document in some ways. As said, uh, Whimsical is my favorite application for flowcharts and mind maps. And the reason for it is because it's very easy to use and it suits basically me. I don't like to be thinking about um, too much how to use the application or um, if it takes a long time to use it, then it's actually not worth it for me. Because it is so easy to use, it makes me actually think about my system, about my workflows and explanations. And I use it in all of my YouTube videos, as well as my university lectures for the medical school. So let's dive in. So this is a whimsical website on whimsical.com. And it talks about a unified suite of collaboration tools. And yes, for me, it is a bit like that, but at the end of the day, to me, this is a brainstorming and planning and thinking application, and it's a benefit that you can collaborate, but I don't think of it necessarily as a collaboration because that's not what, in some ways, I need. You may enjoy using it as a collaboration tool. And this is the different types of documents that they have. So document like a writing document, which is done in uh, Markdown, flowcharts, wireframes, sticky notes, and mind maps. And we'll go through basics, how you use all of them. I will not talk much about the wireframes because I don't tend to use it. I don't tend to use the sticky notes, but I will go a little bit through that. Uh, but let's go into the pricing plan. And this has changed since I've joined in. So in the beginning, it used to be you could do two or three different documents uh, and they could be as complicated or as easy to do. Um, but now they have 3000 items per workspace. And I can tell you how many documents that is, depends of how complicated the document is, but it basically every single bit of information that you put in is counted. So whether that's connector, whether that's a type of workflow, image, um, anything is part of it. Whether or not letter it is, I don't know. Or is it a word within a new document or documents? Because I'm not sure how they counted that. There is no way for you where you can say. While if you pay for it, you get basically unlimited. This reminds me of an early notion before it became unlimited for use um, of these 3000 items. So this is how the whimsical works. You have, I'm on a personal plan uh, and this is my personal works for it. Uh, workspace. If I wanted to add another one, I just put another, uh, a basically a private folder. If I want to create a workspace, I can do it through here or through here. This shows you what uh, basically um, folder you are in and if you want to add what type of documents in that folder. Um, at, if you've marked it up, you can easily move them around. And uh, if you want to add some folder, you can do it through here or you can do it through here. It doesn't actually matter, is it? It's easy to do either way. Let's uh, do a new flowchart. So, so I'll name it, name it. And basically you have infinite canvas. So you can go and zoom in, zoom out, uh, move it anywhere. So you don't have to be worried that you're going to run out, run out of space on a page. Um, this is how you add the shape. So if you want to add it, you just drag it. And uh, if you want to change it and add a different one, you do that. Um, 
So within a shape, if you click onto it, you will get options. So if you want to add text, you can change what type of text, whether it's bold or italic in position of it. Does it go up or down within this space? You can here change the shape if you don't like it. You can change the color of it. And you can also change the way it basically looks like. You basically um, duplicate it through here. Whatever you've done, you can very easily duplicate. Here are your connectors. So whatever way you can, you want to make the connector, you can do it here. You can add a text or you can change the way the arrows point. Um, and if you want to add an elbow, you can do it this way. See, you can make the way it looks. Um, you can also change then the color, the text, and everything else that it is within it. Uh, you can also add some images, um, add or import some sort of icons, and also have a link. So if I want to connect to documents or make a document within a document, I suppose, I can just say input, and it'll ask me to change, let's say, this one. So here, I will see automatically everything that's written within that document. If I want to add something, well, I should delete it, that's it. If I go back to my flowcharts and hello to the stuff that I've deleted, I can see it. So it's easy to change things within the document. What I wish is that they will let you, so if I move that here, oops, and I want to add another one, I can search and add another document or another flowchart or whatever else that I want to do, um, but I can't add a new one uh, from this. And I wish they can, I wish they would do this. As I said, I don't do really wireframes, but uh, from uh, looking at it, it's very easy to plan, let's say, how you want your website to look like, for example, on computer versus uh, phone versus iPad. So you can plan these things through here or if you're going to plan the product or anything like that. Um, as I said, as I don't use it, I haven't really played with these things. Um, I will put a link in this video to the um, how you use the wireframes on the Whimsical website. Um, if you want to write a document, you basically just write. So if you want to find more information, you can click on that and you will find more options what um, things are. With time, you will uh, figure out how to use it. But it's very markdown principle of uh, putting things in. Um, so markdown for uh, different types of headings is this one. So heading one, hello, versus heading one is two hash and then uh, so you can see the different levels of the headings that are there. The other way, instead of clicking with the mouse on here, is the slash. You will get the choices or the options straight away. Um, what I really enjoy is here, they have a focus mode. So you can just go and write a focus mode and then here, um, and it's in a full screen or not. And then here in a corner, you can also change whether you want paragraph focus or basically, which is what you're writing and you can't see that much, or is it typewriter mode. If you want to um, do a new document, this is a mind map. I'll say input. And what I'll do is just add the mind map. So here, and then if I push here, I want to be, um, for example, um, visual. Oh, visual. 
My writing's not the greatest, is it? Um, and then Britain. And then if you want to go for visual, you just click on that and then you will, um, let's say image video, and you can go as granular as you wish to in these things. If you want to go this way, you just go that way. Um, Um, so it's very, very easy to, to do this. If you want to connect certain things as well, you can, uh, for example, with that, you can add images, links and everything like before. If you want to share things, you can share either just this file, or you can, sh if you go back to the flow charts, you can chain, you can share the whole folder with anyone with the link and then you can change the permissions here. Um, uh, if you want to basically, this is your, getting a shareable link and you can put it and paste it in some of your documents. You can export it as an image, for example, uh, copy an image, embed. Um, I used it a lot in Notion. So if I embed something uh, in, in a Notion document, every time I change it in Whimsical, it will be changed in Notion. Uh, here you can also add things from the template so you can see what templates there are in a community. Here you can very quickly see what type of document is. W is wireframe, S is a sticky note, and um, uh, F is a flowchart. Um, you can add a folder within this folder here, or you can do that through this area as well. So it's very easy in some ways to, to do. Um, sticky notes are kind of interesting. Um, what I can, I don't tend to use sticky notes much, but if you're going to do, for example, weekly planning or something like that, it's very easy to do. So I'll open this document that I've started before and let's say, um, you can either edit stuff through here, but what I found easier is if you click on here and put this side cut. So now it's much more easier to edit things around. Um, this should be Wednesday. And you can just write in here. You can click here and you can change things um, that you want to put in. So if you want to put the tasks for Monday or something like that, you can do that through here. Uh, so let's say my tasks. The backslash doesn't work here. So you have to click on this and then let's say tasks. Um, Um, and if you collaborate with people, you can start discussions. You can also assign it to different uh, people here uh, if you're doing that. Um, if you click this watch card here, that means that if anyone changes anything within this card uh, that you're changing, you can uh, basically, you can keep an eye on it and it gives you notifications. When you're finished with this, um, you can just close it here. So, but I find it much easier to do that through here than in here. Um, in some ways, you can add another um, stack, for example. Um, let's say this could be your groceries or uh, or something like that. And then you could possibly link this sticky note within a weekly document, a weekly review document that you can write in here so you could see what you've done each week or not um, uh, possibly. I don't tend to use it yet as such, um, but maybe in future I would. Um, things that I think Whimsical could do possibly better. One is that new document um, that you can write a new document within the file that you're already in rather than kind of getting out of that file uh, and then uh, going into a different file. Um, the other thing I would like to see would be the presentations. Um, 
I uh, um, do quite a few presentations um, for medical students or for other um, medical professionals and uh, teaching and stuff like that. So it would be nice to use something like this where you can do presentation visually and also share them with people to have all the links within a presentation there. So this is it about Whimsical and it's really easy, at least for me, app to use. And I enjoy using easy apps because I don't want to spend time or worry too much about how I'm using the application and how long it takes. I just needed to do what I wanted to do. And in this case, it's brainstorm and plan so I can basically explain things better uh, for other people. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.